good. Hi everyone, welcome to Leslie Ray's Crafty Gig. My name is Leslie Ray and tonight we are going to be working with Rangers Alcohol Inks. Uh, they are also called the Adirondack line of ink and these are really really fun to work with. You get lots of great techniques and let's get started. Um, some of you know that um, we had a kit for tonight so if you got the kit for tonight it's all the surfaces that we're going to use. Um, the alcohol inks work on non-porous surfaces so if you're working on with them you can make stripey things like this you can and this is also on shiny paper um, make stuff like this this would not work if you did it on a regular piece of cardstock your cardstock has to be shiny so let's make sure all your surfaces are shiny if you got the kit you got four pieces of six by six black gloss paper. You got four pieces of eight and a half by five and a half white gloss paper. You got, can you hear it? You got six pieces of the basil acrylic paper. And those of you who have die cut machines, this works awesome in the die cut machine. And then you also got four pieces of the six by six basil um, acrylic paper that's in the thicker size. Um, this thicker size, let's see if I can get the plastic to come off. The plastic peels off so it's not blue. And then you gotta hold your mouth right when you're peeling this off. You can purchase this from cut and paste memories.com and um, I'll share with that some more stuff but this is what's in the kit. The kit was $12.50 I believe and that included your shipping as well. And okay here we go. So when you peel the blue off of both sides it's clear. See? Coolness, right? And then in addition to that you got a selection of fragments. This is not the whole box of fragments. If you want a whole box of fragments, it's like $10. But this gave you some to play with. You, you got several of this size and some long ones and some bits and bits of square ones. and some bigger ones like this and so see so you got this whole wad of them okay and so we're gonna play on that and things that you can make with the fragments they look like this so we can make some really cool stuff with alcohol inks and so I'm going to show you how to do some of those things. We're going to talk about alcohol inks and what you can and can't do, uh, what you should and shouldn't do, kind of give you the rundown. Um, right now, are there any questions? Okay, it's about a third of the package, Mama. Yes, the kit was in, um, it's on my fan page and all that. But you can still get the kit. I'm, I'm pretty positive. Right, Grammy? What did I last show with the snowflake? That is called a fragment, Bev. And 
These are fragment charms that I made my um, my demo pieces out of, but we're going to make them on the fragments. But um, I'm going to show you how to do this because this is lots of fun, and you can do all kinds of fun stuff with it if it'll ever come on. There you go. So I'm going to show you how to do those. This is the one with the charm. The ones that come in the kit are the ones that are just square and rectangle. Okay. So, like I said, this will color lots of things. This started off like this. So we're going to learn how to do this. Now, the great thing about these is that if you were looking for the perfect brad to match your project that you were working with the lovely fuchsia and you needed something, you can color your brads. Okay, we're going to learn how to do that. We're going to color uh, non-cotton fibers. If you're using uh, dye inks. Dye inks are really good at coloring cotton fibers and cottony things and um, things like yarn, not so much. Well, with acrylic ink or with um, the alcohol inks, you can color acrylic fibers. So that's cool to know. And then, you know, staples, if you're you're into all those packages of colored staples. I love colored staples. I have tons of them. But of course, I don't have orange ones or I don't have black ones. And so if you have that color alcohol ink, you can color those too. Now, I want to stop just a second and answer a question about my gloves that was asked. These are compression gloves. A company named Dritz makes them. Um, they do sewing products. They are what they do is they allow me to do lots and lots of hand work without having the pain that I normally would have. I have like arthritis in my fingers and stuff because I've been doing needlework and drawing and, and crafting and cooking, just cutting vegetables and stuff for a long time. And my hands get real, real sore. And when I wear my gloves, they don't get sore. So um, I've been doing a lot of origami lately. And um, I'll show you part of something. This will be on my blog tomorrow. Um, but I've been doing this and origami really hurts my hands. So if I'm wearing my compression gloves, my hands feel a lot better. And so that's why I'm wearing them. Um, yes, my card today was also an origami card. It's this card. And it's all nice and, and origami and it's made out of some heavier paper and that is hard to, to fold. So having those on really helps a lot. I know Amanda loves her gloves. Loves, loves, loves her gloves. Um, said she started feeling things that she has never felt before when she got her gloves on. So maybe she'll discuss that with you later. All right. Let's talk about some of the products that you need and then we will um, go from there. I am going to be using the alcohol inks and specifically I'm going to be using this set and this set has the wild plum, the butterscotch, and the stream. And um, those are probably my favorite three colors. I use them a lot. I, I think those are the coolest ones. And I'm also going to be using the blending solution. And the blending solution is great for cleanup as well as for lightening the alcohol inks. Um, I highly recommend you having those. It's also good for cleaning Sharpie marker or Bic marker off of your four-year-old or your three-year-old before her birthday party when she decides to have herself a blue lip. Um, we're also going to be using the metal mixatives and these are awesome. This is what in the, the picture you saw with the um, on the black paper and it had the silver on it. 
it was the metal mixative. And these are really, really pretty. Um, Mom carries in her store the silver and the gold and the pearl and the copper. And they're all gorgeous. Um, we're going to be using specifically the gold and the silver. Okay, Mommy also carries in her store this set of three, which is the rust and the stone washed and the pitch black. And then she carries the set that has the paper and the the skinnier plastic is a dollar twenty and the thicker plastic is two dollars a sheet. Did you lose me? Okay. I thought I have if if you if y'all lose me like yelling caps. Um, and then the gloss black, she has 10 sheets of the 12 by 12 gloss black for $8.99. And she has 10 sheets of 8.5 by 11 gloss white for $5.99. Oh, no, we're not talking about those yet. Um, I'm going to be using the ink blending tool and instead of the pads, the foam pads, what was the last ink set shown? Okay, hang on. Sorry, guys. Ah, that's why you lost me. Hang on. Can you hear me now? Okay, sorry. That was my fault. I thought I had microphones on all of them. Apparently, I did not. Um... That has in it bottle, which is a real pretty green terracotta, which is the perfect pumpkin orange. And it has denim, which is a nice dark blue color. Caleb, or Caleb, Sigurd has everything. Yes, Sigurd bottle is in it. Okay, I'm going to be using the blending tool. And instead of the pads, I'm going to be using felt. And I just cut my own felt. Um, just regular old felt like you can get at Walmart. I have a surplus of felt at my house. And if you don't have a blending tool, those are $5. I'm going to be working on the craft mat. And this is a must-have, as you saw last week, for working with the distress inks. It's also a must-have for working with the, with the alcohol inks. Love, love, love the alcohol inks and love my craft mat. It's awesome. Okay, um, fragments, that's the way the package comes if you buy a whole bunch of them at once, and that's $9.99. And I think that's everything that we're actually working with. Um, I wanted to give you an idea on a grand scale if you do a lot of um, costuming and stuff. Um, hang on. Crud. Are y'all seeing something strange? No, Sigrid, you're not the only one typing. 